So Ro Timmy explains what happened with his G Unit deal. Hey, what's up? I'm A Dub, and you gotta check this out. So 50 Cent's G Unit signees haven't always parted ways on good terms, ask the game or Young Buck, but when Ro Timmy left the label around 2017, it was all love between him and 50. Speaking with Hip Hop DX ahead of the release of his new movie, House Party, the actor musician explained what happened with his G Unit deal, revealing that his departure from the label was his decision as he wanted to do my thing and grow. When he requested to remove himself from his contract, 50 didn't stand in his way. So with G Unit, man, so 50 gave me my deal in 2014, you know, and, um, and we had a conversation like, yo, I have an idea that I want to just do my thing and grow. And as a businessman, he knew that he saw, he saw himself in me and it was like, I'm not going to stop you from doing what you need to do. And again, like that man is a different type of beast, man. And so I thank him for that because I was able to learn on my own and still have his support. Wrote to me who appeared as Andre Dre Coleman in 50 Cent's popular power series, added that he and 50 Cent remain on good terms and is always open to future collaborations. Even after we left, he was able to just still market, find his, his own way to market me, you know, and it works, you know, and so... Again, like uh, anytime he calls me, you know, and needs me, it's, it's all love and it's always been that way. But yeah, I signed for like three years and then um, I got out my deal. Wrote to me signed a G Unit after building buzz as an artist through RB projects like The Resume and While You Wait. During his tenure on the label, the multi hyphenate teamed up with 50 Cent on an updated version of his single Lotto, as well as the TI assisted Nobody. Wrote to me also dropped the eight song project Jeep Music Volume 1, which peaked at number 16 on Billboard's top Heat Seekers chart. He later inked a partnership with Empire Distribution in 2019, a move he says was born out of a desire for creative freedom. While he remembers an amicable departure from G-Unit, he did feel the wrath of 50 Cent when his former label boss demanded he pay him $300,000 that was allegedly owed to him. After initially denying 50's claims, Rotimi later coughed up $100,000 and chalked the dispute down to miscommunication. Rotimi said in an interview with TMZ Live in 2019, When you're signed to someone as an artist, they give you a budget. Right. They give you a budget to promote the records, uh, uh, make sure everything is good with the records, and, and market it so it gets the best value for the bang of the buck. 50 believed in me in 2014, gave me a deal under his project, under his g -Man. So at this point, we didn't agree on the, 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 the single, Love Rhythm. I felt like it was the one he felt like he, I should have gone with another record. So I asked him, can I get out of my deal? And he said, yes, I'm not going to hold you back, but there's business. The way he handles situations is, is, is unorthodox and you know, I think he was just in a bad mood yesterday. I don't know what it was. I was just confused on like, yo, we talked about this, but again, we talked about it today. And um, and, and instead of waiting, instead of waiting for royalties, because it is my brother, instead of waiting for royalties, and I am able to pay. You know, I, I gave him a hundred thousand, so we can just. Be oh, really? Well, you paid him a hundred thousand today? Yeah. Is he because is he he's, happy he's with that? that money, he's getting that money anyway. Is he happy? Is he going to be happy with the hundred thousand for now, and then get the rest in the royalties? Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. Road to Me has since released a handful of projects, including his 2021 debut album All or Nothing, while continuing to establish himself as a force in Hollywood. His latest role finds him playing a bully who gives the lead actors a hard time in House Party, a reboot of the classic 1990 flick which starred Kid and Play. For Road to Me, the original movie carries special significance as it was his introduction to the Gettin' Funky duo. For me, it was the film. Mm -hmm. I thought they were so cool. I thought it was like, and I thought it was so geniusly written, and mm -hmm. I thought it was like just genuinely funny, man. Like, it was the first of its kind, you know? So for us to be a part of something that, you know, is so legendary, mm -hmm. we had to bring our A game. We had to make sure that they had to make sure the writing was good. They had to pick the best cast for it. So for us to be a part of something like this, man, it's just God, bro, for real. House Party hits theaters on Friday, January 13th. But what do you think about what Ro Timmy had to say about his G-Unit deal? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.